What is going on guys? It's Original Leche here and I am back with another video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can program the DOIO 16 key macro pad and answer some of your guys' questions and comments. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. All right, guys, so the very first step that you want to do is you want to head over to the website that you purchased the 16 key macro pad on. In this case, I bought mine on keepmonkey.com. So I'm going to go on keepmonkey.com and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the description of the 16 key macro pad. And what you're going to see is there's going to be two links. There's one to remap it and there's two uh, to give it the firmware update. So what we're going to do is step number one, we're going to go ahead and click on the firmware update. And once you head there, head down to where it says number two, preparation. And it's very important that you download QMK Toolbox. And that right there is an important application because that's where you plug in your 16 key macro pad. And what it'll do is it'll flash the new firmware on there uh, once you do the reset. Very important step. Then what you want to do is you want to grab your 16 key macro pad and there's going to be four screws on the back side, four hex screws that you want to remove and you want to remove all of them. But at the same time, you want to plug it in and you want to open up QMK tool. So we'll head over there right now. One thing that I am going to mention is you will find the reset button on the top left corner, right next to the top hex screw, just an FYI. So if you have a hard time finding it, it will be right here on the top left corner. All right, guys, but before you guys do anything on QMK toolbox, what you want to do is you want to head over to via.com. Now that's via.com. That's where you uh, can remap your 16 key macro pad. But what you want to do is you want to go over to where it says firmware and you want to scroll down and find the 16 key macro pad by DOIO. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down all the way right here so you want to go all the way down and find the doio underscore kb16 underscore rev2 underscore via dot bin that bin is important because you're going to put that into the qmk toolbox in order to get the firmware for it so that way via can automatically pick it up all right guys so once you guys downloaded that bin file from via or via however you pronounce it uh, then you want to head over back to QMK toolbox and right here where it says local file You will be able to get the option to select the bin file and what that will do is that will give you the correct firmware Needed for via so that way you can remap your macro pad So once you do that you can go ahead and plug it in and begin the process of Updating the firmware on your DOIO macro pad. All right guys. So once you go ahead and plug in your DOIO macro pad What's going to end up happening is it's going to say in blue HID console connected and then in yellow, it's going to show up as device connected again and it should say undefined vendor, but that's going to highlight in yellow. Then the next step is to flash the device. And once your device becomes flashed and there's no errors, then that means that your firmware is updated. All right, guys, and this is the last and final step, but also the most important step. What you want to do now is you want to go back to the Keep Monkey Wiki page, and this is going to be the one for the remapping instructions link. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on the zip file that belongs to your macro pad. So in this case, if you have the 16 key macro pad, you're going to select the third option, which is the KB16. So now what you do is once you click on it, then it's going to go ahead and download as a zip file. And once you do that, you can just go ahead and click on it. It takes a couple seconds right away. Just extract it. And once you extract it, it'll look like this and you'll be ready to go. So now and you can just save it in your own folder and you're ready to go. So now you can go ahead and go into via or via and you can go ahead and remap your 16 key macro pad. It's that easy, guys. It's that simple. All you want to do is just go ahead and click start now and then you want to go ahead and hit authorize device and you will see your doio up here go ahead and click on that click on connect and bam just like that you will be able to remap your macro pad all the layers show up right here and all the numbers letters etc you name it it's that simple guys that simple all right
right, guys, that's it for me for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, as it will help me in the long run. And if you guys have any other comments or concerns, feel free to comment down below. But that's it for me for today, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. We're just going to let you out. Peace.